do it. Hey folks, welcome back to Pure Bassin with Trent Deloach. So in this video and a few future videos to come, we're going to have to shake things up a little bit. I'm going to have to be a little more mobile and uh, my camera setups are going to be different because I'll be borrowing a boat uh, or going with my buddy Chance and his boat due to an accident we had with the boat trailer on my boat. So a little more on that, uh, I'll show you the pictures here, what ha uh, what's going on. And what happened here is we were going down the road, going across the bridge, and the bridge was really rough, and all of a sudden I started feeling a kind of a wobble, uh, and then a loud bang. And when that happened, I looked in my, rear, in my left mirror, and the whole boat and trailer was coming sideways into the oncoming traffic lane. And uh, didn't, I panicked a little bit, but I didn't slam on the brakes. I kind of sped up, feathered the throttle a little bit to get the trailer to swing back behind me and I got it guided over to the ditch. I had no idea what happened. I, my initial thought was I lost a tire, a whole hub, you know, the whole hub assembly came off. So I open the truck door and I get out and I walk back and I look and there's no axle or anything under that left fender. And as I walk around the back of the boat, this is what I see here. And then I walk on around and see that, you know, the axle's hanging to the trailer by the leaf spring on the right-hand side. And what had happened is the, the leaf spring on the left-hand side had broken. Come to find out this is a common occurrence with those older MFI trailers that had the single-leaf leaf spring. So if y'all have one of those style trailers or if you have an early, I mean, a early 2000, late 90 model Triton boat uh, with the single or tandem axle trailers, go out and check your leaf springs and make sure you have a stacked leaf spring. They're heavier duty and uh, won't break as easily. I mean, even if you have those, you know, check all the bolts and everything, make sure nothing's rusted, make sure everything's in good shape so you don't end up like I did. Um, luckily, no one was hurt. The boat itself was not hurt, but the trailer was totaled and I'm having to have a new one built. So we took the boat and trailer on a record to Or Marine in Texarkana and uh, ordered a new trailer through one of their trailer manufacturers and they told us it'd be three to four weeks. As of shooting this video, it is exactly three weeks to the day of us ordering, so hopefully in a couple of weeks, or at least in a, another week or two, I'll have my boat and trailer back and can be back to normal filming and everything. Uh, but anyway, in this video, I ride along with my buddy Chance and his boat. Y'all stick with us and let's see what we call it. I know I believe you. Yeah, I don't know if they better than that one. There you go. Finally. Good little fish. But they've been good fish. I mean, yeah, so the conditions post run, I mean, what's, what would it do on you know, good bags? Yeah. Good bag might come out here and pick them or something a little quicker. 
<laughs> Here's the smallest one of the day. I was a little more patient that time. I didn't I didn't set it right when I said there's one. Chances last fish could eat this one. It wasn't bloody. I can get pictures off the cameras. Pass it back. Nice girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a good. I'm going to say it's four and a quarter. That's what I'm going to say. Four seven. Four seven. Almost four and a half. Or wait, is that ounces? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna take that all day long. And then some. I should have took about I, just, take it to I know, I keep I didn't even think about that. I just feel like that other bank. Feel like it is. I don't know what's giving me that. I, 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 don't, I don't disagree. I just really want to get that big pot of I have so many I couldn't pass it. Oh, that almost got it. Whack. Yeah. 
There's a fish dig. God dang it! Hey, about a tail. What a hunt? What do you test on the iron? Uh, the braid is fifteen or twenty, and the uh, leader is like. What tree was I on? I was on that one. You hear? Okay. He did too. Good lord. Oh my. <laughs> he swatted the thing. Good gracious. Hold it. Told you. Yeah, you got me down by two now. Number eight. Look, three times the size of the quarter ounce that I use. So. <laughs> <laughs> no? Now? You see where it was? I just heard you. Thought you hung up. Oh, uh, when he bit it, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get this fish out of here. He was in between them two pine knots. Sorry. Number nine, you got me down 63 now. Brush cowboy up. Oh, I think. I didn't catch anything on it because I didn't throw it for about five times. <laughs> There's a fish dig. Glenn Hall found a minute. Found a minute? Yep. Stuck him with that champion jig. We'll put a couple hooks on him and fish with him. Oh, 
Well, that ended up being a really good trip. Chance laid it on me. He caught eight. I caught four. Uh, we caught all of them, but uh, one flipping. I was flipping a Zoom baby brush hog in South African special color. I caught three of mine that way. When I ran out of those, I didn't get any more bites except for that one that I caught on that Champion Juice Kilo Sunrise jig. Chance caught all of his flipping of Reactions Innovation Marimbear pig in black and blue with the exception of the one he caught on my Wacky Rig spinning setup. The water temperature was getting right. Most places it was low 60s. We did find some up, some areas in the higher 60s, which is where we caught all those fish. There was a lot of really good looking water and trees and stuff we couldn't fish due to the wind. So I'm really excited to go back to this little lake. I think it's gonna be a nice little spot that fits my style and plan to make some future trips there. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to click the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and we'll catch you next time on Pure Bassin' with Trent Deloach.